Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about learning the concepts of X-Ray as a part of this playlist. This is our very next tutorial to get started with. We are talking about how to set up and configure X-Ray as a part of your Jira Cloud instance. The most important thing is to understand how we navigate through the application marketplace, which is our Atlassian marketplace and search for the right app in fact, get a quick introduction to what exactly the app will provide you when you start working with it. You can very well explore some of the quick features about it right at the home page of the app. And then you can start using the trial version of it for 30 days and configure the POCs and see how exactly it impacts, what kind of features it has and how it can add more value to your day to day activities. So the most important thing today in this tutorial will be understanding is how to you know navigate to the app store get the particular app install it configure it to your jira instance and start making use of it we'll be talking about each and every concept one after the other so stay tuned for that and we will be now getting started how to configure x-ray in your jira instance As a part of this tutorial, we'll be understanding how to configure X-Ray as a part of your Jira instance and getting started with the X-Ray when you start working on the Jira instance. So here we are making use of a quick instance on the Jira cloud. And of course, uh, you will find a quick link on the top to you know go back to the tutorial where you can look forward to understand how exactly Jira instance can be set up. If you already have one and you're talking about the cloud Jira instance, you don't read anything else and you can get started with this. If in case you do not have a Jira cloud instance, you can quickly create that using the link on the right top corner, understand how to set it up and start making use of it in order to get started with the X-ray. So assuming that we've got an instance with us now it's time for us to visit the marketplace of Atlassian to search for the apps and the menu item here on the top will show you the place to go there so if you click on the apps menu on the Jira you will have an option to click on the find new apps and it will take you to the Atlassian marketplace and here you can search for all your apps which you might be interested in to embed with Jira and make use of these additional add-ons to enhance the way you work with the Jira. So I can quickly filter it by the categories if you know what category or tool or add-on you're looking forward from and you can just filter that by the name. So I'm looking forward to an app which is X-Ray and this comes under testing and QA or you can even search by the name if you already know the app's name which you are looking forward to. So let me filter by testing and QA and I would find the suggestion here for the test related options that is Zephyr, X-Ray, etc. So you can make use of any of these options which may suggest you to go ahead with test management in Jira. Right now, as per our tutorials are concerned, we'll be looking forward to X-Ray. Click on X-Ray, where you'll find the details of the X-Ray on an overview level, that what exactly this app is all about, and how exactly it can cater you with the need of test management for the Jira. Now here, if you would see, you would find a quick tutorial, in fact, to tell you about the introduction of it, which will take you to the YouTube video of the X-Ray. Now, YouTube videos, that means X-Ray has an official channel where they talk about giving you a quick introduction and certain details which you might be interested in to know about the tool and their features. Moreover, they'll give you a quick outline of what exactly this tool is capable of and what you can expect from the tool when you opt for it and start using it right of course the more information can be explored when we work on it and conduct a poc so right now this app will be available for 30 days for free but after that there will be a licensing cost involved so make sure that you plan all your poc activities or complete this tutorial series in 30 days of time to cover every single aspect but if you're working on a licensed version of it, then you can take your own time in order to complete the X-Ray tutorials. So let's click on try it for free and see what exactly are the steps to configure this. So all you have to do is click on the start free trial here and the configuration on the left bottom corner will begin. 
and it will take just few seconds as we are talking about these features talking about the initial setups it will be done in fraction of seconds less than a minute is what it takes to configure once it is configured it will give you a success message that the installation is now done it's time for you to start using it but we cannot use x-ray directly you need to configure and tell him that which project do you want to use it in and by now we see that there is a success message already here so i can even close this or directly continue from here but let me show you the other ways what if you close it here and where are the different ways to go for it so click on close button here and now if you come back to your apps you would find x-ray on the top which is an app which is installed to your embedded uh, jira cloud instance now and now you can very well utilize it if you click on this x-ray tab or x-ray button on the app section it will take you to the welcome screen which is the getting started with x-ray and the very first step what you need to do is configure a project right in order to configure x-ray to your jira instance you would find this button here configuring a project that means you need to tell x-ray that where you should be coordinating or which project wants to make use of x-ray because you at any point in an organization instance you may have any number of projects right now i have just one project but yet you may have any number of projects so you need to tell x-ray that you should be only visible on this particular project that's where it asks you to configure it so click on configure project button and drop down and select your project to which you want to associate it to because you don't want to hamper other projects which are ongoing and they may not be interested in the x-ray click on my test project and click on configure so that's my project which i'm associating it to but this is not just one step procedure it will take one more step to complete the procedure where it says that hey the x-ray provides you all these test or sorry issue types like the test precondition test set test plan test execution and sub test execution would you like to add them because i don't find them in your project right now of course without adding these issue types you cannot enable test management of x-ray within jira so right now here on the top you would find the button that is add x-ray issue types a lot of common people will close this tab and, and assuming that this is just an information message please don't do that because that's the only option to add your issue types so click on add extra issue types here it will just add those issue types to your project and show you the window once again with the tick mark of green stating that all the issue types have been added to your environment so let's give a moment here and you would have a confirmation on the screen that yay we have added all the six issue types to your project and now let's go back to our project and see the difference so do we see any specific difference here yes of course we also get a testing board which we'll be learning about uh, in a short while like in upcoming tutorials to understand how the testing board can be utilized when it comes to x-ray embedded with jira right and here we have all other features of managing the tests in the repositories we'll be talking about that we'll be looking at all these options like what is test plan what is test coverage traceability etc listen you know mentioned here also we'll be talking about importing the test cases as a part of our uh, learning tutorials and it's time for us to see what's the major difference we get we click on create button this time and uh, if i drop down here i see many other issue types listed here right so this is a scrum template project so when it comes to a scrum template project you generally only get epic story task bug but now we see test test set test plan test execution precondition okay hold on there a lot of people must be thinking where did the sub execution go there were six issue types right in fact you don't see a sub task also here because they are child object so subtask is a child object of story, task, a bug, epic, etc. Similarly, sub execution is a child object of test execution. So if a test execution consists of 15 test cases and I want to run only five of them, I make use of a sub execution, right? Keeping it short and simple, we'll be jumping into creating our very first test in our next tutorial and step by step progressing on understanding how best we can make use of X-ray as a part of our jira as a tool to manage our test management within agile methodology 
right so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning